I wanted to take this opportunity to let everybody in this ro room know that I'm running for President of the United States in 2020. And I feel that the microphone was sabotaged by somebody that who want me to be the president. Because I would be the first Italian president running the country, and let me tell you what I would do. First of all, we need a guy like me, you understand? Nice Italian president. I'm gonna change the model from make America great again to make America Italian again. And then if you wanna live here, no problem. But you all gotta say the same thing if you stay here. You don't know nothing, you didn't see nothing, you don't say nothing, that's enough. You understand? We start changing things right away. We go to the airport, we get rid of that sign. You know that sign, if you see something, say something. No, you keep your fucking mouth shut. I'm not even gonna need four years. Three months will straighten out the entire country, you understand? I'm gonna relocate the White House from Washington to New Jersey. This way nobody knows where we are, you understand? I'm never gonna tweet, that shit stops. I'm Italian, I don't want anybody to know what I'm thinking, you understand? And you don't follow me, I follow you. Imagine a guy like me giving speeches on national television. People in the press asking me questions, right? They're like, Mr. President, you took care of the problem in North Korea, how'd you do it? I'd be standing there with my cabinet, you know my cabinet, right? Huh? Anthony, Nikki, Joey, Tony, Salvin. Couple of guys in track suits. I have my mother there with a bowl of macaroni, meatballs. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, you want to know what happened in North Korea when we went to go talk to the guy about the thing? Well, here's what happened. We went out there to talk to him, you know, sat him down, this and that, and pop, pop, pop. We were talking, you know, we brought him a calzone. We're not stupid. We ain't gonna go out and be handy, what do you think we are? <laughs> we were talking to him, and then, uh, I don't know what happened. But he's gone now. And there's nothing you can do about that. Come on, people. How much fun would it be if you knew the president was actually whacking people? Like, Mr. President, what happened with ISIS? Like, oh, oh, you wanna know what happened when we went to go talk to that guy about the thing? Well, here's what happened. I called ISIS up. I says, ISIS, we're gonna talk. So we flew him out to Vegas, him and his friends, you know. We went dancing and this and that, and then, uh, I don't know what happened. But they're gone now. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I always wanted to be on television during the debates. I wanted to be part of the debate. You guys remember when they did that? They were making fun of each other on national television. I say you don't do that. It's very disrespectful, it shows weakness in foreign countries. Imagine them making fun of a guy like me on national television. Then the master of ceremonies looks at me and says, Mr. Marino, Trump and Clinton just made fun of you. Would you like to rebuttal? I'm like, yes, I would. <laughs> Go to a commercial break. <laughs> we come back from break, you can't find Trump or Clinton anywhere. I'm like, Mr. Marino, what's going on? I'd be like, um... I don't know what happened. But they're gone now. And there's nothing you can do about that. 